Hello, and today we're going to be talking about uh, sequences and series again, but this time we're going to be talking about a slightly different uh, sequence. So this sequence is called a geometric sequence. So what that is, is something that's times by a certain rate. So as we can see here, that certain rate is called common ratio or R for short and this rate can be calculated using our good old friends here so 81 divided by so for an example 81 divided by 27 that's equal to 3 which means our rate is 3 in this particular sequence so let's look at the rule for this sequence. So Tn equals the starting number A times R to the power of N minus 1. Okay, so R, as I explained, is the common difference. So let's say R is 3. And let's say A is equal to 2 for now. So the first term is going to be A times R to the power of 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so R gets cancelled out. And then we're just left with A, 2, comma. Then we have the second term. So it's now going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. And now we're going to times that. Then it's going to be R to the power of 2 now for the third term. So we're so we have 2 times 9, which is 18. All we're doing is we're timesing by 3 each time. Right? And this is how we set up our reoccurrence relation. So our reoccurrence relation, Tn plus 1, equals Tn times rate. Right? Where T1 equals starting value right remember you have to separate this by a comma and you have to specify what the first term is you also have to specify the starting rate here so let's say our starting value is 3 and our rate is 2 so a is equal to 3 r is equal to 2 make the sequence so Tn is equal to 3 times R2 to the power of n minus 1. I want to calculate the 8th term. That's going to be 3 times 2 to the 7. 2 to the 7 is 128. 128 times 3. Uh, that's going to equal our 8th term. That's equal to 3, 8, 4. So that's that's our term. That's our that's the eighth term for this particular sequence here. And you can see that this is um, quite an exponential growth. So we're only on the eighth term, and we broke the hundreds already. So that's all there is to geometric sequences. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or contact me on social media. And I will see you in the next video.